after all that, Barry does eventually get his powers back because he's stubborn. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, he's just straight up stubborn. He's, yeah, and he, he's like, Come on, got to take me up, got to try again, got to do all this. And so Thomas drags him up to the. Until it kills me. It's either yeah. going to kill me, and if it kills me, I'm going to come back and keep doing it. Right. <laughs> Does, uh, Flash is a main character, so they're not going to like straight up kill him. Because even when they did kill off Barry, they had other Flashes. They had Wally West. They had Barry. I'm, I'm honestly yeah. surprised Barry Allen stayed dead for as long as he did. Though, back yeah. then, comic book deaths lasted, or comic book deaths were supposed to be forever. So... I mean, who's the only characters that's really stayed dead for uh, Ben, Uncle Ben? It's the only <laughs> character that really stayed dead forever. <laughs> ben. Or, Uncle Ben. Bucky was dead forever until all of a sudden he wasn't. Yeah. Like in the early 2000s, I think, was when they and, brought him back, which was Nora, brilliant. Nora Allen's has stayed dead except for occasions like Flashpoint. Uh, Thomas and Martha Wayne have stayed dead since Bruce has not been able to go, not even. And that's actually a, a, to, a point that Bruce makes later at, towards the end of the story is that he he's wanted to do that. He's wanted to go back and uh, save both, both of them, but he's not been able to because it would change everything. Um, it's this... so human to like if you have the power to, how could you not want to? Exactly. And, and how many how many stupid decisions that we have in real life that we'd want to go back and make changes to? But it wouldn't. I mean, I know I do personally, but if I did went back and changed those, would I be the same person I am now? Mm -hmm. And this that's what really what the story is about is even though it's a way for DC to change everything <laughs> and bring about the new 52 and everything and but change we things. We make like, everything simpler even though we really didn't. <laughs> yeah. It, it's still very personal. Be, yeah, it's, it's still very personal because who doesn't want to go back and change things? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, I think that's part of what draws me to the story, too, is when I first read it, it was like, all right, cool. I just want to read it. It's like, wow, this story is very personal. This, and they, uh, could this, it, they could have made it crappy and been like, this is yeah. a reason for a reboot. It And it could have been a crappy story and everyone would have been like, well, everyone was opposed to re the reboot, so whatever they did, whatever. But it was it was a very good story. Yeah, Jeff Johns is an amazing writer. Um, so <laughs> and and, and oh, realizing that how much he's had input into not only this story but the continuing over the time over the the ten years since it. Um, uh, <laughs> Came out is just shows how great of a writer he is, and wish he'd done more for the story um, for DC, and hopefully he'll continue to because his overarching storylines are great. Um, he's a really good big picture guy. Yeah, like he's really good at the personal stories too, though. Like he's really yeah. good at seeing the big picture and then and then making it personal. Really, what's great about this is it's very story focused. Yes, yeah. there's a gimmick because it's an alternate timeline. It's something different, it's completely well different. on its head. But it's a story, and they're focusing on the story. And right. once per Barry gets his powers back, you know he's just he's very much go too. Like, let's get this done. Um. Let's be big damn heroes and fix this. <laughs> yeah, he, he's being buried. He, he's, yeah. it, 
And it doesn't matter whether it's the, the TV show or the animated show or the comics. It's Barry being Barry. Yep. He's very optimistic, very much, uh, let's get this done. And that's one of the things I love about his character. He's just so optimistic from being this loner guy who is very introverted and very much obsessed with the past. Mm -hmm. And that that is one of the storylines leading up to is like Iris even straight up pulls him like, you're going backwards. Like, what is going on? He's like, it's my mother's birthday tomorrow. Like, yeah. it is not only is it making it personal because it's his, his mother's dead, it's her birthday, but he's he's showing showing that not all super not not all everybody has the same growth direction. Not everybody goes straight forward. A lot of people come backwards. Well, and grieving especially is. It's not, it's not a straight line. <laughs> no, it's a lot of times it's a circle. And sometimes that circle sticks into back into the circle and we can't get out of it. But, and, and that's really what this whole story is, is just Barry came back to the circle. And I think that's where the TV show um, really missed the mark um, with the storyline in season three. There's no overall ramifications left afterwards. It, it's a couple episodes. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing else. Yeah. Except like, oh, by the way. Well, it extends to Arrow. It's like, oh, by the way, Diggle, your your son is now a daughter. Sorry. Whoops. It, their daughter is now a son. Um, or, sorry. Ramon, you're, yeah. Ramon, your brother's no longer alive. Like, big deal. Like, as far as the story goes. And everyone moves on. Like, yeah. No. Cisco has a few issues with Barry for a while, but eh, I feel like it was done too soon in the TV show. And, And that's what's great about Flashpoint, too, is like the whole story is like, it doesn't care about the the morality of the story they, 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 right. Barry cares but the rest of the characters don't give a shit <laughs> and that's what's really awesome is like you have the whole war between the Amazons and the um, the Atlanteans right. is personal Oh man! Yeah, Arthur's pissed at Diana for killing Mara. That's the whole reason for the war. <laughs> and Mara and, then, and Diana's wearing Mara's crown. Yes, and then kill Mara after they fucked. Uh, Mar- um, Arthur and Mara were married, and so Mara were Mara married. Was, yeah, Arthur and Mara were married. Mara went to apparently assassinate Diana, and Diana killed Mara, took her crown, his, her, her helmet, and is wearing it. And she claims it's not as a um, a trophy, because uh, Arthur accuses of her wearing it as a trophy. She's like, no, it's a warning. And their whole, their whole war is over the fact that they're, that it's a very personal war. That but, they killed but, all these people. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah, collateral damage. But no, but I remember, so, um, Arthur and Mira were married, but Diana went on this, like, diplomatic mission to Atlantis and then fucked Arthur, even oh, though they were probably- married. Yeah, yeah. It, might have, it might have been one of the side comics. So she fucked Arthur, and then Mary was pissed, obviously, because that's her husband. Yeah. And Mary tried to assassinate Diana because she's like, bitch, that's my husband. Yeah. Tried to kill I mean, her. It, and it then Diana was like, no, uh, 
No, I'm gonna kill you. Yep. Which is it super- does make sense because Arthur does mention about. I once thought I lo- I I, lo- I can't believe I once loved you, and Diana's quick backs like, you never actually loved me. Like uh, that's so gross. Okay, so so you Arthur, straight from your wife, fuck someone else, and then your wife tried to kill the someone else who then defended herself, killed your wife, and then you're mad because they <laughs> keep in your pants. And a bunch of people died because of that shit. So, yeah. no. Like, yeah. like, both of y'all are the bad guys in this shit. <laughs> yeah. And this was and- another reason the whole story is cool is because you don't know who's the good guy. You don't know who's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. And part of when it comes to the whole the final battle is you really find out who the bad guy of the story is. And it turns out it's not Eobard Thawn. It doesn't. It turns out it's not Arthur and Diana, even though they are the bad guys of the story. It's actually Barry. Who's the fucking bad guy? Because <laughs> Barry went back to save his mom. But he had good intentions, but everything. he's still the bad guy. He's the bad guy. He's exactly what he thought Thrawn the whole time. He thinks that Thrawn that has fucked everything up. And he can't figure out why he can't remember what is going on. And Thrawn shows up and he's like, Ah, <laughs> you fucked up, boy. <laughs> he's like, let me rem- let me remind you, and he vibrates his hand into into Barry's head and gives him all his memory back. And like, yeah, you went back and saved everything, saved your mom, and you fucked up, boy. <laughs> and it's great because <laughs> it's like, it's like holy shit. shit. He's just like, oh my fucking god, I fucked up. I'm the bad guy of this story. What happened? And that's what, like, I'm the, the, the bad animated guy. Duh. <laughs> and the animated series actually touches on that and is very good with that. But the TV show completely misses that mark. Yeah, it slightly touches on it, sure, but it it, it completely was... takes that element and just makes it bad. Barry's the one who fucked up here. Mm-hmm. And Ron is just like, <laughs> no, I'm outside the timeline because I'm traveling through it. When you fuck this all up, I can kill you now. <laughs> and, it's great. <laughs> and it's great. He just tries he's to beat no him. Powers. I mean, Barry's got his powers at the point. He's just beating oh, the yeah. shit out of him. And uh, what's even better is that He's sitting there over monologuing over over Barry, and Bruce just comes up and monologuing. grabs him in the back. And just like, you know what's bad about being in war? You don't stop talking. You stop just don't start you don't stop to talk. And he just straight up kills him. It's fucking great. It's just like yeah. this, this is this is exactly what should happen to every single fucking villain that sits there and monologues and anything. I agree. It's just somebody comes up and just like bam, puts him down. It doesn't Again. even have to be the superhero. It just be some <laughs> random dude in the background like <laughs> you're dead. You're dead because you're a dumbass and sit there and fucking talk for five minutes rather than pay attention to what's going around around you. <laughs> it is it is this whole cop this whole story is such a great antithesis to every every comic book story oh, and that they're talking it, like they sit there and talk and the superhero wins because of some dumb random luck thing <laughs> and no this this is because the villain is just being an idiot and 
talking and rambling on and not paying attention to surroundings. He gets stabbed. Barry's <laughs> able to save the day because he's Barry, whatever. But it, it still fucks everything up, too, because you find out even when he does decide to run backwards and go stop himself, he completely fucks up the universe even still because he creates the new 52. Because uh, butterfly effect is a butterfly thing. Effect. You, you, it's really great because he's, you're telling the story as like, hey, it, it's like the movie Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kutcher. Great movie, really Which dark. And you sit there and you go, every time he changes something, he goes back. Something else is fucked up. Even though, if, even if one aspect of things is great, depressing movie, but such a great movie. No, okay. No. So, anyways, is there anything more you want to say about Flashpoint? Uh, I recommend everybody read the story, even if, even if you don't like the new Fifty Two, especially yeah. if you don't like the new Fifty Two. It's such a personal it, story. It's yeah, so it's so personal. It's just, it's great. And even if you're just reading the bare bones storyline that Comic X and not all the peripheral stuff, it's just, it's pivotal. It's one of those pivotal stories for DC Comics. Even ignoring, um, not ignoring, but it, mm -hmm. it's right up there with Final Crisis, Zero Hour. And Infinite Crisis. It, it's on that level. I'm not saying it surpasses those, but it's right there with them. Is, um, thank you for being on Drunk Comics. So we'll do a awkward cheers. Cheers! My empty cup cheers. <laughs> uh -huh.